Professor Shear, since you are working in New York, and New York is a place of epicenter for the United States, now we see the number is going still high. Flattening the curve, uh, that has been achieved, but the number is still going up. And we all know things are still going exponentially. So in the middle of all of this, what do you think are the things that people could do in order to calm down and face the reality to be the first step? So uh, I think it's very important to recognize that feeling um, anxiety and feeling lonely and the, some of the difficult feelings that we have in our lives are natural in this circumstance. And the, you know, and the main thing is not to is to be well. Two things: to be um, compassionate to oneself in feeling these things, so not to layer on, so to speak, some kind of judgment about whether you know what are you feeling, what you should be feeling, are you feeling, you know, should you not have these feelings, mm. and then also to at the same time to stay kind of in the moment and not to not to overdo it either, not to sort of um, just catastrophize about all the the things that could go wrong, really to try to stay in the present and and to remember that the even though things are still not looking so good in New York, they are better than they were a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the general pattern. We will get through this and we'll you know, we need to support one another and that's going on. There's a lot of that going on and we need to reach out to other people to be of help to them and to let them help right. us. 